Hello everyone. Well, my name's Sandra, for those of you that don't know me, and um, I decided that I'm finally going to do a video to talk about what I've been going through about my feelings about the situation. Um, I've been thinking about it for quite a long time and I've been uh, down a path of discovery if you like for the last four or five years. Well it started quite a few years before that but then I got distracted doing other things and and then about four or five years ago I started asking sort of questions about what was going on and I haven't really I've tried to share things on my Facebook page and I realize I've probably gone around it gone about it the wrong way in a way because when you start to see things happening that you think is wrong and it's going to affect your friends and your family and humanity you just straight away can be tempted to just jump in and try and tell everybody. Um, now that's certainly my case because I've I realise I'm quite impetuous and I've always been that way. Um, but as I'm getting older and starting to realise that uh, not everyone can is ready to look at things from a different perspective or look you know or listen to other people that don't think the same as them and they've got every right to to you know we're all the same we only want to follow our own judgment um so there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and i've been having lots of different feelings particularly over this last year i've had things come to me in song and I've sort of not, I've taken it on board within my heart, but I've not shared it. And this year, particularly the last few months, I've been out in the garden and a, a song has come to me. And I've video recorded myself just saying a little bit about it, but I've not shared it again. And today I just start, started washing some plant pots up and I thought, I just started singing a song in my head. Now, quite often this is when I get sort of inspirational messages to me to say, it's like a song that's given to me in word. And this song came to me and it was a song from years ago that was from probably the 70s. I don't know when it came out, to be honest with you, but it's a song and it was called, it, and I was just washing the pots and it just came to me like a flash. It said, now is the time to set things right. Now is the time we should unite. Um, and I thought, I've got, to, I've got to look this song up and find out what the words are. So I looked the song up. Because I sang a few more of the lines in my head to myself, thinking, well, this is, these are the words, right? Okay, let's see if, what, what the words actually are. So I want to just quickly read them to you. And I just find it shocking. It says, now is the time to set things right. Now is the time we should unite. We don't need revolution. We just need to open our eyes. Revolution is no solution. We ought to realize. Realize, right? Now is the time to set things right. Now is the time to see the light looking back to see the future and to rid the age of nuclear now is the time to set things right take a look around what a mess we're living in god created love and man created sin Taking from the earth, but never putting in. Now is the time to set things right. Now what becomes of man when he used up everything? Now, 
you could say, oh yes, we're, we're really bad to the planet. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of things happening with the planet, you know, that we shouldn't be doing. But there are also a lot of good things. Um, and I think it is about putting in back into the planet rather than being one who just takes everything from the planet. And that could be something to do with consuming. And I it gave, made me think, well, all you know, going through this COVID that we've all had to go through, right at the very beginning in March, I sort of thought to myself, in a way, it's good that we can't all be running around in cars and planes and going out and buying needless things. And so when we all stop buying these needless things that we don't need, that's good for the planet, isn't it? Um, but that's not my message. I just wanted to say to everyone, you know, we're all going through uh, emotions. It's a roller coaster. We're going through emotions of feeling contentment but then a lot of time feeling fear i know a lot of people are feeling fear i have been quite content for quite a long while and i i'm pretty strong i'm, I'm lucky because i'm a pretty strong person and i realize this now because i've had a lot of time to contemplate like everybody's had a lot of time to contemplate and i realize i'm a strong person and um that's why i wanted everyone to know that if i've showed things on my facebook page that's been too much for you i haven't done it to hurt you i've done it because i care about people i care about truth i care about justice and i really care about love and i think love is we don't get enough love anymore that's another song that just comes to me all the time when i'm out in the fields we don't get enough love in our lives and i think the main thing is to love ourselves and to accept ourselves and if you've got anything in your heart that is creating an emotional block within you just give yourself permission to forgive yourself and to love yourself because while you've got a block in your heart your heart can't open fully um, so what I would say is just take these precious times of when we're all in our own homes, not with family and friends, but we're on our own and just, just be, just go into the space of just being in your heart and empty your mind of anything. And when you open your heart, and you're just open and quiet, you get flashes of inspiration. I hope you are okay with this message and I hope it finds somewhere in your heart a connection and gives you a bit of peace. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.